haven't done one of these in a long time, but I'm taking off from Tanya's and I'm walking to the church. And when I say from Tanya's, I mean from Tanya and I's place. This place, to be precise. So, I'm going for an hour and a half, borderline two hour walk, and I'll be walking the distance. And then after that, I'll meet Tanya and young adults, we'll have young adults, and then after young adults, I'll then head home with her, watch Lightyear and have some spaghetti after we grab some uh, cheese on the way, and then we'll go from there. So I'll log when I get closer, and, but I'm about to go to an area where I need to put my phone away. But anywho, life's going well. Just did a boatload of Batman gaming and some other stuff, which I'll talk about in a bit. Talk to you guys soon. Why am I walking? Why am I not staying home with my fiance and cuddling and playing Batman? Why am I walking all of a sudden? Well, here's my reason. The Bible is very clear. Love the Lord, God, Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. What does that mean to me? That means I have to love him with everything I got. And if I love him, you obey him. And he says, take care of your body because it is a temple. So what I'm doing to obey is I'm going walking. I could have used the treadmill downstairs, did it for about half an hour. But where's the fun in that? For me, I need actual attainable goals to get me to do something. I need stuff that's like a, almost like a, a golden carrot dangling in front of me. And for that, walking to library or earlier, walking to the library, now I'm walking to young adults. These things motivate me to take care of my body, to take care of me. So this, I think I'm gonna put this video, even though it's more of a shenanigan video in a lot of ways, this kind of comes to what I've been talking about in my overcoming series, overcoming things. This is very important when you're overcoming things in your life, is acknowledging, firstly, like I say in most videos, that's a problem. I've been not working out for about two, almost three weeks, technically four. I don't count sitting in a hot tub and swimming around a pool as working out. I have not been physically exercising. I've been spending most of my time sitting on my, on my bum, learning how to, well, expand my YouTube channel, but also how to do my job at Lazy Boy. So this is me now taking care of this side of things. So once a week, I'll be probably walking to young adults, even if it's raining, probably. It's not raining at the moment. It's actually kind of decent weather outside. So I'm taking advantage of what I got at the moment. But here's the thing. You've got to be proactive. You've got to make a decision in your life to take care of yourself. And if you do confess that God is God and that you love him, then you need to obey him in every aspect of your life. I'll come back with more. You know, God sometimes uses negative people to try to what I'm trying to say is sometimes God used negative things to bring up a positive outcome God has used a young man twice actually recently to bring me down and each time something in me was reawoken I've been really insecure lately about some stuff in my life with the channel and work actually, and even my relationship. And God used this, this person to reawaken the fact that I'm doing just fine. I'm doing amazing. I'm making huge changes. And then to make things even more interesting, the enemy used this person to try to bring me down at the same time. So it's kind of mixed messages. But what I've learned is that haters are going to hate on my channel. People are going to come and try to tear me down. You know what? I'm just going to keep getting back up. I'm going to keep, keep creating content. I'm going to keep just driving my way through social media one day at a time. You know, my purpose with this, with this channel isn't to save people, isn't to change people's minds or fix people. My purpose with the channel isn't even to change lives. It's just to have fun. I'm having fun with my life while sharing the gospel at the same time. I'm putting stuff that's both Christian and non-Christian related. I'm bringing two worlds together using a little bit of PS5 gaming slash phone gaming and a lot of Victor-isms alongside it. And I'm excited. I'm actually happy with the life that I have. I have an amazing life. And sometimes I need a reminder of that. And God sent you know, a couple people from church, not last week, but the week before, to remind me of just how amazing I am. And that I'm doing well in life. That I'm actually right where God wants me to be. I've been searching the scriptures. I've been looking for answers. And I've been searching my heart on how to go about life. And God's been using 
everything around me to influence me, change me, and put me in a place where I can help other people like me. And I've been making an impact on my church family. I've been making an impact even on my foster family, even on my bio family. I'm seeing changes in them that I never thought were possible through two, three years ago. Yet they're changing and growing. There's even people in my life who are close to me that are friends who are making changes in their life. And I'm seeing them be affected by my life. And the truth is God is using me as I am where I'm at. And truth is, it doesn't matter what people think of me or think of my channel or think of my content. What matters is what I think of it and what God thinks of it. And everything I do, I make sure it's lined up with the word or I don't do it. There's some things I have to reconsider here and there, you know, but most things I do on here are biblical and are the truth. Nothing but the truth. No lies, no hidden messages, no secret agendas. My channel is designed to be a light in a dark place, but also a place where people feel safe and learn from my life experiences. I'm excited to see what God does with this channel. But as I was thinking about how I'm going to do this video, because like I haven't done one of these videos in a while where I've done a walking video where I'm walking and talking at the same time, I find myself having an inner dialogue thinking about what happened earlier today with the PS5 and me playing the Batman games and doing what I love, which is being Batman on the PS5, while at the same time dealing with a situation where Felix, our adorable cat who I love to death, knocked over a cup of water and it pissed both me and Tanya off. And Tanya's like, I told you this was going to happen. I was like, ah. <laughs> she was, well, after that, she was all like, so what did we learn? And I talked to her and I was very blunt. I was like, nothing. Because <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. I was too busy uh, trying to help with the water and continue the gameplay while I was recording. Anywho, God is good. God is so good. I cannot tell you how much he's been blessing my channel. He's been blessing my life. Um, my church has been backing me up on multiple fronts. My, even my fiance has been backing me up on certain situations. And I'm to a point in my life where I'm, I'm actually doing okay. I'm actually happy and doing well in life. Now back to what I was saying earlier about obeying God. God has put on my heart to keep doing what I'm doing on this channel. Despite what other people say or feel. And I want to keep doing what I'm doing, whether people like it or not. If they don't like it, they can stop stalking my channel. And I know who you are. Anywho, I'm not going to speak anymore on that. But anywho, I'm about to get to a busy road and we get going. I'm walking on the Centralia Trail while walking to uh, Young Adults tonight. I could have stayed home, but like, I really needed to do this for a while now. I haven't been taking care of my body as much as I should be. So I'm trying to at least try to take care of my body. But there's a lot of people in my life that God has directed and basically told one way or another to lead my life. And it's not just for their own good, but for my good too. And, you know, God convicted me again today through a friend. We are called to let the haters hate, but supposed to love them anyway and pray for them. And, you know, this whole week God's been using this one person, you know, my pastor to, to mentor to me in a way that I've been needing to hear and I haven't been obedient about it and today I was reminded again that haters are going to hate I'm called to love not not anything more nothing anything less but anywho I'm going to get going so thank you for watching this video of me just venting and talking about my day um, I did um, have some fun today though um, in a word I walked over to Limeberry, got some ice cream, then I walked back. Then after I walked back from Limeberry, on the way, Rob Brower, my pastor, picked me up because he saw me in the parking lot, drove me over. We talked a little bit about some stuff going on in our lives that concerned both of us. Also just checked in with each other. And then he went about his day. I, and I'm actually going to be seeing him tonight in Young Adults. And then I took off, walked over to the library, got the $20 for my lunch this week. So, trying something new. I'm going to be eating... Uh, hot dogs at uh, Costco this week and see how well that goes. Um, probably not going to go very well, but it's better than spending $80 on food that doesn't even fill me up. <laughs> I 
On top of that, um, I walked through the library, got some movies, got money. All right, never mind, I talked about it already. And now I'm walking to Young Adults, which is going to take me about two hours to do. So wish me luck, and uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, in a bit. So talk to you guys later. Now, here I am walking. I'm actually very hungry. Um, I just realized the only thing I had was a breakfast burrito for, for breakfast, and then I had a decent size uh, lime berry cup for my lunch, which you're probably thinking, that's not very healthy. Well, you're right. But it was very filling, so I ended up not eating to eat lunch. But now, it's six, and I'm walking, and I didn't take into consideration that I just might be getting hungry until now. <laughs> or, sorry, about ten minutes ago. But I'll be fine. So, time's going to meet up with me pretty soon. I'm just now approaching Living Water off of Boulevard, so I'm about mm, 20 minutes-ish away from reaching my destination at a House Sound Church, the place we use, which is Life Transformation Church, which they meet on Saturday, so we get to use their church on Sunday and during the week because we rent from them. So I'm excited to show up there and hang out with them and tonight, and I need, I need this walk. I have not been taking care of myself as well as I should, and I know I talked about that in the other sections of this video, but like, this walk has brought some familiar smells of fall, which remind me of certain times of history in my life. One of them being, well, if I'm gonna keep it real, my life in Forks. And then a couple people from Forks are talking to me that the Holy Spirit kind of just put on my heart to message one of my friends, other friends, and ask them, is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> Don't know why, but I did it anyway, and I let them know that, hey, I'm just going off of what I feel the Holy Spirit put on my heart just now, and hopefully it's something I need to probably hear, and probably don't want to hear at the same time. It's what I'm feeling, sense of. But I'm just enjoying being out in the elements again, and hanging out with just me, myself, and I, walking, listening to good music while walking for two hours straight-ish. Probably gonna be less than that. I'm going at a pretty high pace, even for me. So I can imagine that the next 30 ish minutes, my fiance is gonna call me and go, Where are you at? I'm gonna be like, mm, At the church. What? So it's gonna take you two hours. No, apparently not. The route I took was a lot easier for me to take, so we'll have to go from there. But I'll make one more video once I get to the church. But I just wanted to note that, that I'm having that feeling and smell of euphoria of remembering Forks, Washington, the smell of the air and, you know, the trees, you know, turning into fall. Fun fact about me, my favorite time of the year is the fall and the winter time. And something me and Tanya bond over is snow and ice in winter. So I'm excited. Thank you. Talk to you guys soon. Well, just as promised, I made to the church. I'm currently sitting outside, it's raining, and it's only like 5.56, so I got here around 6. I was expecting to be here at 6.30-ish, so it took me less than two hours. It took me like an hour and a half to get here, and I still got here and before anyone else does. So, of course, people are going to arrive and show up, and they're going to wonder, what the heck? Why are you doing so out here in the rain? And I'm going to explain to them, no, nothing happened. Me and Tanya are fine. I just went on one of my Victor walks inside to walk to the church from, from home. So now I know it takes an hour and a half to get to church. I didn't feel like I walked for that long, but I walked for an hour and a half. So, still got it. Yep, yeah, so tonight we're gonna be talking, to, um, continue our uh, two weeks ago message. And uh, I think it's called Before You Walk Away or something like that. So I'm expecting some really good stuff tonight, and my fiance should be leaving to come here in about 15-ish minutes. Maybe sooner now since she knows I'm at the church. But we have a covering here at the church where it extends a good almost eight or nine feet away from the building. So I don't have to worry about rain or puddles or any of that. I can actually sit here in comfort knowing that I'm just fine. So <sighs> I need this walk so badly today. But I did do something I shouldn't have. So as I was walking, as I was hungry, so I do this thing where I'm like looking out for food, like some crazy person. And so I saw an apple tree, and I took two apples, and I ate one apple, and I ate the other. 
something weird happened. I couldn't get the food out. I just kept coming back out. So I ended up spitting out the food. So I didn't eat two apples. More like a half of one, I think. So I, I was hungry and I wanted to eat at least a little something. And my fiance is going to see this and go, Oh, you should have told me. I would have brought some food. Well, thing is, Young Adults has chips. Those are always filling. Not the healthiest thing in the world to eat, but they do do their job and they're a great filler. And I didn't want to eat too much because we, me and Tanya made uh, enough uh, food for two nights in a row. So apparently meatballs and spaghetti from one can in one box makes two nights worth of food. Which is significantly cheaper than buying those freaking pre-made meals that we get usually. So hey, I want to put the music on and just sit here in silence and then I'm going to... Uh, I'll wait people to arrive to let me into the church. People should be here fairly soon. Usually. So, we can get going. I'll talk to you guys later. Well, apparently Young Adults was canceled tonight, last second. About 30 minutes before everyone's supposed to arrive. So it looks like I get to stay here and wait for Tanya's arrival, and then from there, go home and hang out with her for the rest of the night. Which is fine. I understand. I get it. Apparently, um... Our uh, young adults leader got out of surgery recently for her leg, which I totally forgot about entirely. So I should have saw this coming, but I wasn't paying attention. But anywho, I'm a little bummed to be honest. I was actually really excited coming to young adults tonight. Well, well, life happens. So, anywho, thought I would add this little tag to the end of my video.